Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at version 2 of my real film Power Grid. So for existing users this update is obviously completely free, you can find a link to it within your email. One of the main changes to the Power Grid is the halation. I'm going to show you now, if we grab the studio version of it, you'll see that it now has a better looking halation. It's still very subtle and you can now tweak it and it's fully manual instead of using OFX. So it looks a lot better. If you want to tweak the strength of it, all you do is go in here and you can put up the gain output to get a stronger halation, which obviously looks completely fake. Or you can pull it all the way down and get it like very subtle or around 0.4 where it naturally sits when you apply the power grid. So for DaVinci Studio users, that's the main change and the rest remains the same. The only thing that's changed is the halation and order of these two nodes. Now for the free users of DaVinci that haven't paid for a studio version, there now is another version of the power grid, which when you apply looks exactly the same. Now the main difference is that it doesn't use any OFX that the free version of DaVinci doesn't come with. So for example, the halation, which obviously also has changed in the paid version, but dust and grain as well. These are added by using mats onto the footage. So if you want to make the dirt, the dust stronger, for example, right now it looks like this. You will see a little dust particle every now and again. You can go in here, put it at one, and you'll see that the dust becomes very strong. Now this is a very strong dust. Now you will clearly see dust flying around if we play it. You can see the dust flying around and you can tweak with the values to get a nice number. Naturally, it sits at 1 when you apply the power grid. Same goes for grain. It sits at 0.5 naturally, but you can put it at 0.1 to make it very little, or turn it off, or put it very high, and you can see now there's a lot of grain. Let's put it back at 0.5. Now for the people who want to import the free version, you'll have to go to the supply documentation, find the PDF that explains how to install the non-studio version of the power grid, Inside there's a download link, you can click, you download the two mats for dust and grain and then you're going to import them into your project according to the PDF or I'm going to show you right now. You want to go to your project here, then you want to get navigate to the whichever folder you put the mats inside. Obviously you want to download them within the real film power grade folder so everything is neatly tied together. So you want to select these two, then you want to add to media pool as a mat. You click it, it adds them to media pool as two mats here. And then when you apply the non-studio version of the power grid, as long as you don't rename them, it will automatically grab those two files and put them in your project as a mat. And that's it for the update of the power grid. If you've already purchased the products, the update is free for you. You can check your email and there will be a download link. And for new users who are interested in the power grid, you can check my full video about the power grid where I explain how you use it and why I made certain choices. So if you want to get it right now till the end of the year, end of December, New Year's Eve it's over, 20% discount with the code LAUNCH10 on the screen right now or in the description. You get 20% off the power grade um, till the end of the year. That was it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Short video, more upcoming and yeah, see you all in the next one.